Hey YouTube, this is not a sponsored message and I promise not to be a product review channel, but when I find something I like that I think you might like, I'm going to do a video about it. And today we're going to talk about safety. And I'm going to talk about rings. Specifically, my wedding ring. I wear this everywhere. I don't take it off ever. And I've in the last nine years, I've had a few close calls where I was picking something up or, or working on something and this got caught and and I could feel it pulling in a very uncomfortable way on my finger. There's a few times when uh, it's kind of dangerous to be wearing a ring, doing demolition, doing work with with rocks, doing work where you're you're moving wood around, moving stuff around. It, it's a little bit dangerous to wear a ring that that is so solid. So there's also two other new situations where I might not be, want to be wearing a ring. One is working with bees. Someone suggested that if I'm wearing my ring and I get stung on my finger, my, my finger most likely will swell and the ring is going to, you know, possibly cut off circulation of my finger, which is not a good thing. The other thing is working with the, around an electric fence now that I have an electric fence. And I have seen uh, images of people who touch their ring to a fence and burn their finger, like third degree burns on the inside under the ring. The other thing is doing work around the house. Uh, this is where I've noticed my ring sometimes pulling on my finger in a weird way when I, when you catch it on something, when you're picking something up and, and this catches. Uh, it is possible to tear your finger off. Feel free to Google ring avulsion and you will want to uh, solve the problem of the wedding ring. So I've heard about silicone rings. Silicone rings are great because they go right on your hand and if you get caught, uh, they're gonna just tear right off. Uh, they give, they stretch, they're more comfortable, uh, they don't conduct electricity, and if you get a bee sting, they will stretch and they're easy to cut off if you need to cut them off. So that seems to be the solution. I looked online and I found there are very popular ones. If you search silicone rings on Google, you're gonna come up with three or four and they, they range in price from 12 to up to $30 for one ring. So I did a little searching and I found on Amazon, I found a four pack for $13. And right next to it on Amazon, I saw this three pack for $9. So for $21, I got seven rings to try. This first one is the Rock ROQ ring. These are, you can order these by size. Uh, my finger came out to be a size 11, so I have a size 11 four pack here. And just like you expect, uh, they are squishy, very lightweight. So I'm going to just try one of these on. I'll try on the black one. Totally comfortable. Wow. Nice. Easy. Stretchy. Comes right off. This is the uh, dark gray. Not really my color, but all right. Good backup ring light gray looks a little white in the camera but this is light gray kind of like that and this is a gray metallic i don't know if it's showing up on the camera yeah i don't think i'm a gray ring guy anyway 13 bucks for four rings that is the rock package and this is the Vitalius, the Vitalius three pack. And these are thinner. They feel a little bit thinner. These are definitely more, more material. The, uh, the rock, the Vitalius are, are thinner. Just super comfortable. Like you, you don't even feel like it's on. Doesn't even, you, you forget it's there. I, I like the black. And this is like a yellow, it's kind of yellowish. And this, sorry, these are, 
the Vitalius. That's kind of cool. I don't mind that. So first impression, the Rock, which is $12.99 for a four pack. Definitely a burlier amount of silicone. It's a, it's a lot more of a solid feel. The Vitalius is thinner. It's, it's a more of a, of a lightweight and a little more squishy feeling. Back to the original. This doesn't even, I don't even feel this on my hand either because I've got such a groove in my finger from uh, wearing it for so long. But I, I definitely feel the danger of wearing this ring doing any kind of heavy, heavy work. It, it's always made me a little nervous wearing it. And I'm still obviously going to keep it. I wear it when we go out and stuff and, and when I'm not doing any heavy work with my hands. But I think my daily around the house, definitely when I'm working, doing anything with bees, I'm going to put one of these on. This will be a, this will be a test. I'm going to wear the one that I like the least in color. Put that on there and just wear it for the day. And you know what I'll do? I'll take this one, which I also don't really like, I'll wear it on my other hand, and we'll see uh, if how they hold up, how they work out for the day. They're definitely a little tight on my hands. I'm a, I'm a size 11. Probably could have gone with a 12, and they would have been a little more, a little more air breathability under there. So I'm gonna wear these for a couple days, and I'm gonna come back with my full review. All right, welcome back. I've had a solid week, well, about five, six days wearing these rings. I've done everything in them. I've mowed the lawn, I've weeded, I've gardened, I have scraped and sanded paint, I have hung drywall, mudded drywall, I have painted primer, I have sanded a floor and refinished the floor with polyurethane. And I'm still wearing these rings. It's been a very busy week. And uh, I must say, they're they're totally solid. I've done everything in them. Showered, slept, whatever. They're totally comfortable. The only thing I must say is that when you wear the ring, the, the, the rings don't breathe. So they, they tend to cause moisture to get trapped underneath. And you're going to get a mark, like a, you know, a prune, a pruned look effect underneath the ring on your finger. So one way you can probably solve that is to get a size up. Um, these, I, these, I'm a size 11 and I got a size 11 and they fit tight. And I kind of like that they're tight because I don't, I don't want them to be flopping around and coming off, but it is something that you could do is get one slightly large. So you get a little more airflow underneath the ring because I am noticing that my hands are just kind of, they always have that prune look underneath the ring. And I will live with that for the safety I know th this, this is providing. Um, I have noticed I've been doing a lot, a lot of work this week, like tons of different kinds of things, and I haven't even thought about my ring. When I usually wear my, my regular wedding ring and I'm doing any kind of moving stuff or lifting or woodworking or, or anything, I'm, I'm very aware of the ring on my hand. And with these, I just forgot about them being on. So that I do like. Little review, uh, I, I need to, whoop, I should switch this around. The other review thing that I do want to say is that the Vitalius ring, which is this one, I just want to remind you, is a, a lot more flexible and squishy and the rock ring is definitely a little more substantial. It's got more more meat to it and it's it's just it's still flexible and everything but it's it's just a tad bit thicker. So it just feels a little more like a ring. This feels a little bit like a rubber band. That's this side. So I definitely give these a thumbs up for concept, definitely a thumbs up for price. And because I prefer the rock ring and I'm gonna just decide to wear this now all the time, I'm gonna go with the black one, put that on. So this will be backup rings and these are backup rings and I'm gonna go with the black ring as the new ring. So there it is. 
Definitely a solid purchase for safety, for style, for comfort. I love it. Silicone rings. That's my recommendation right there. So there's a link in the description below. And that's it. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching.